When will the pain stop? Married for 20 years. We have school aged children. Earlier this past year my soon-to-be's wife expressed her displeasure about certain aspects of our relationship. I took her concern seriously, and went to counseling to learn how to communicate better and be a better husband. I loved her with every fiber of my being and I was determined to make her happy. During that process I asked her if she was seeing anyone else or had interest in seeing anyone else. She said no. I asked her, if she ever had a change of heart and developed an interest in someone else would she be respectful enough to let me know. She promised that she would. I took that as a sign that our relationship was salvageable and spent every waking moment working on becoming the perfect husband. As time went on and I became more attentive to her every need she became meaner and nastier to me. I could not understand what I was doing wrong and it was driving me into a serious depression. Recently I learned that while I was dedicating myself to our relationship and her happiness she was in fact having an affair despite swearing to me that she was not. The affair had been over for about two months at the time that I found out about it. When I confronted her about it much to my surprise she suddenly wanted to work on our relationship and said that she was so sorry. There was obviously lots of yelling on my part as would be expected when someone finds out that his spouse had been ducking someone and lying about it. Several days after she proclaimed her desire to rehabilitate our relationship she completely changed her mind again and said that because I was so mean to her when I found out about the affair it made her reconsider things and she wanted to end things right away. I asked her if it had anything to do with the person she had an affair with. She said it did not. Later, I learned that she had lied again and was interested in pursuing a relationship with that person. The pain that I have been experiencing throughout this ordeal is beyond anything I thought was possible for a human to experience. And the dread I have about facing the future as an emotionally scarred divorced middle-aged guy who will probably always have trust issues is beyond description. Update, confronting the man who slept with my wife, yes or no? What have been your experiences, 20-year relationship? No prior infidelity issues please do not argue with me on that topic. I am certain of it. Relationship going through a rough patch. Predatory man sees an opportunity and strikes. He knows that his target and her husband have been making progress on repairing the relationship and that they have children at home. Children are now losing their home and the benefits associated with having married parents living in the same household because of the aftermath of the affair. My wife is absolutely to blame for choosing to have an affair I am not suggesting otherwise. But I have every reason to believe it and I'm not interested in arguing this point either that but for this predatory monster our relationship would have continued along its positive trajectory to the point where any affair would be unthinkable and my kids would still have an intact family and would not be losing their house. I have such an urge to confront this guy in an entirely non-violent and within the bounds of the law way. I'm not sure if I am looking for advice as much as I am looking for people who have had similar thoughts or experiences. I'm just looking for support. Update, ethics question. Do I tell my sweet mill the reason why her daughter and I are separating? I have the utmost respect for my mother-in-law. She is a kind person. She knows that over the course of my 20-year relationship there was a period of time where I did not hold up my responsibilities as a spouse such as not performing an equitable share of the household work and allowing an unaddressed general anxiety disorder diagnosis from preventing me from spending quality time with my wife away from the home. She also knows that I loved her daughter with all of my soul and that I did the right thing and became a super husband helping around the house and I went to counseling and addressed my GAD symptoms such that I became the social and outgoing spouse my wife had sought. It is also worth noting that even my wife would agree, with lots of hard work on my end, I had become a downright super husband. My wife is feeding my mother-in-law a line of beetle shit that the reason the marriage is ending is because she still has resentment from the bad things I mentioned from years earlier in the marriage and not because she had an affair and lied to me about its existence repeatedly. My mother-in-law has no idea about affair. Because we have children I know that I am still going to have occasions where I have brief communications with my mother-in-law. I don't like the idea of her thinking that my issues from years past were the reason why her daughter's marriage failed. Do I tell her the truth? Or do I spare a nice woman's feelings so as to not create yet another victim of my wife's unconscionable actions? Update, has anyone found success in meditation in dealing with the pain? 
Meditation was suggested to me as a good way to deal with the grief and angst and anger and depression I have been feeling. I have tried it a couple of times but when I clear my mind and focus on the meditation techniques dozens of horrible thoughts rush in. Redditor's reactions update after. Redditor 1. Yeah, it works but you have to address that pain with crying and the physical pain that goes with the grief. You're just going to have to let that suffering work through your body. It's best done alone and sober. It sucks, every time but what you notice after a couple times letting it hit you is that each time it's easier and it happens less often. Redditor 2, do this. I have been in your situation recently. I began meditating for a few minutes progressed up to about 15 minutes 2 or 3 times a day. Breathing and let your mind flow. Focus on the positive you and your future. You can do it. Update, beginning to think that the it gets better posts are real shit. She has the affair. She lies about it. She gets caught. I can't afford the mortgage on my salary but she can on her so she is paying me my share of the equity and I am the one moving out of our house. We will split time with the kids 50-50 but when they are staying with me they will be away from their home. I will be the outsider. When my kids aren't there I think I'm going to just spend my days working, getting home and crawling into bed to await the sweet release of sleep. Being unconscious is the only time I'm not in the middle of a nightmare. Redditor's reactions update after. Redditor 1, I don't know if it gets better, it just gets different. I'm 2.5 years out and it still has the power to crush me. That type of betrayal is never forgotten. Your life, your marriage, your kids, your home are all different now and forever. Hang in there, just let time do its thing. Continue to work on yourself. Redditor 2, the kids may not show it because kids, but they will grow up to cherish the love you show them and their memories with you. It's not all about having a fancy place to live, or even an especially nice one. It's not a competition. They will love you no matter what. Redditor follow up, yes I felt so bad after my breakup, because my so made more money than me. My son 4 would say things like my dad's car doesn't need a key. And we have 3 bathrooms. He moved into a beautiful home with his AP. And now they have a blended family. My son has a room that he loves. Meanwhile with me, we moved out of our apartment and with my parents. He sleeps on a couch. And me on a pull-out bed. But he has so much love and affection and doesn't want for anything. Kids don't need much. My son is happy. And whilst living with my parents I'm almost at my savings goal for my first home. Just do what you can. Work when you don't have kids, and stay busy. Get fit. And heal yourself. Update whether to tell kids about the affair that lead to their parents' divorce. Ethical considerations for and against? If yes, most child-friendly way to do so, and in your answers please keep in mind that I don't want my kids to hate their mom. Every child should be able to love their mother. I want mine to continue to do so. Redditor's reactions. Redditor 1, I'm struggling with this. My SDBXW is trying to move with my kids to be close to the AP and hoping he will be divorcing his wife as well. If she has plans to have a serious relationship with him, and perhaps more, I think the kids need to know, but I don't know how to broach it. To make matters more complicated, my older kids found out about the affair before I did and are furious about it. It's the younger kids who don't know yet. Reddit or follow up, it really depends on their age. If they are old enough to understand I think ages 15 18 plus, then you just sit them down and tell them the truth. That you and their other parent will always love them, but that you cannot be together because of their infidelity. This is the proper response by your older children. They should be furious. Not only is your spouse stepping out on you, they're stepping out on their family. Younger kids aren't developed enough to process this kind of information or understand the ramifications. Be prepared to provide therapy if you tell kids younger than 15. Reddit or 2, if there is any other way that the kids could find out about the cheating then it should come from you and your ex first. If family knows, friends with kids, neighbors, anyone who might talk then tell them yourself. If there is no way that they would hear unless through you and your ex, then I think it is a personal choice. Reddit or 3, when my son is mature enough if he asks, I absolutely plan on having this conversation with him. I want to use this as a teaching moment about morals and values. I think there is a healthy way to approach this without mudslinging, 
by expressing the amount of pain this action inflicts on another person and why cheating is fundamentally wrong. I would feel like a failure of a parent if my son would do this to another person. Redditor 4, my dad cheated when I was a teenager, found out by going through his emails because I knew his password when my mom didn't. I haven't spoken to him in over 10 year now, might have been different if I didn't have to find out myself.